Welcome back, I'm Mike with Quantum Coat. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to quantum coat your winch. I was running this winch last year on my other Jeep Wrangler. Got my new one right there. With this winch, all you have to do is take off this cap here on the one side, which shows you the gears. One side is the electrical where all the wires are and terminals, that's the negative terminal. And the opposite side of that winch is where the gears are. All you gotta do is pull that cap off and now what we're gonna do is simple. So without even replacing the old grease, all we're gonna do is take our quantum coat bottle and we're just gonna put a few drops on the gears and we will finish it off with some new grease just to make sure everything is good. But honestly, you could run it with no grease and just the quantum coat. A lot of people don't wanna do that. They'll tell you that's crazy, but this product is crazy. I'm just gonna use this entire bottle just to make sure we have enough in there because there is a lot of friction in here, a lot of high pressure areas. It's a winch, it's all gear to gear. So you wanna make sure you get everything lubed up with Quantum Coat. What it does is it just protects the friction surfaces, frees up friction, makes it run a lot smoother. So I'm just gonna drip it all around here. And as you can see, I have never replaced the grease in this. This is the factory grease. So we just wanna make sure we get all the quantum coat in these gears. Just squeeze it all in there. New grease, just, oh yeah, just grab that. You just wanna pack it in there, just make sure you get enough grease in there. You don't need to clean out the old grease, just wanna get this in there. Just pack it in. And I'm gonna clean it up a little bit on the edges just so it's not falling out. Now that we got the quantum coat and grease packed in there, we are able to cap it back up. And instead of replacing the grease in there every six months, you could go a year, two years, five years. Theoretically, it's just gonna keep on going. You're not gonna need to replace the grease. Welcome back. So it's been about five months or so since that previous clip. That was from before we went to Moab for Easter Jeep Safari. It's now uh, September 19th. So it's been a good five months. I've ran the winch in quite a few times since then. And now we're actually gonna be treating the commutator because we didn't do that in the previous clip. We only treated the gearbox side. So now we wanna treat the commutator side. This should make the winch run so much smoother. All right, so now we're gonna run it out. All right, let's bring it in. All right, so that was with the gearbox side treated only. Sadly, we didn't get a before we treated it because this was actually on my old Jeep, the black one that's right behind there. And we were getting ready for Moab, so we just kind of screwed around and got everything done before you know we ran out of time. So now we're gonna take these two bolts off and get the commutator lubed up. So now we actually do wanna disconnect the battery just to make sure there's no electrics go into it so we don't get shocked and all that good stuff. The battery is disconnected now, so what we want to do is use a 10 millimeter socket here, and we're gonna take these bolts out, just like so. And actually, we're not gonna be taking this whole piece off. So when you do loosen these two up, this comes loose, but this also comes loose from the base. So you wanna keep this in place while just taking the end cap off. So there we go, we got these two bolts. Gonna remove them as soon as that releases. There we go. So as you can see, these are pretty long bolts. They go into the base there. Just remove that. So we're gonna be actually getting this bearing that's right in here. We'll show you how to remove this little gasket cap there. And then, cause we don't wanna move the GoPro, I'm gonna use my phone. You can see it's pretty dirty. So we wanna clean that up too. And then we're also probably gonna get some silicone and, or maybe grease, just to make sure we get a better seal. 
so we don't get any water and salt from the winter that's soonly approaching. But there's the commutator, so we're gonna get that treated in a moment. So right now we're just cleaning this surface off with a little oil. Doesn't look like it's too bad, but it's pretty dirty from Moab. Yeah, we're just wiping it in there, getting everything cleaned off. So we're just gonna pop the seal off just like this. Get that in there and pop it right out. Now the quantum coat right there. Just gonna drip some in there. This stuff is amazing. Like you might not believe it at first, but once you try it, you will definitely be a believer. And we'll pop the seal back on. And now let's get the commutator. Just gonna get it all on the surface area. And as it runs, it'll spread around. So you do not want to put normal oil on the commutator, it's not good for it. But with this stuff, it embeds into the friction surfaces, really eliminates wear, and it just keeps the thing running. And any of the excess oil will burn off eventually, and it'll be running super clean. Just rub some grease on the seal, that way it can stick a little better. And hopefully there won't be any water getting stuck in there. Make sure you get the little bearing cap there, the little, washer. Little shim. And then just line that back up. Okay, put her back together, Mike. All right, we got it all bolted up, so we're gonna turn the Jeep back on and run it in and out a few times. Run it out. And we'll run it in. Definitely sounds like it's getting a lot smoother. You hear that? Run it out of camp. Run it back out. And back in. It's actually cool. That is really cool. This is a little bit warmer than the gearbox side. And when I say warm, I mean like room temperature. Like honestly, that is, that is really cool. That is cool. We should get the thermal camera for this. So we're gonna go get the thermal camera just to show you how cool this is running now. What we'll do is we'll run it out all the way and then all the way back in. Okay. All right, we got the second thermal camera up. The first one was the Flare One Pro. The battery on it died and I don't have a portable battery pack right now. So this is the standard Flare One. So let's start recording. We're at about 97 degrees on the commutator and about 84 degrees on the gearbox. Run it out.
we're gonna run it in now. It's only up to 87 degrees on the gearbox. So far it's running pretty damn cool. There we go. So it was almost all the way out. Well, how many feet? Oh, probably about 30. It was about 30 feet or so, as much room as I have in my driveway. So the commutator is about 110 after all that in and out, or out and in. And the gearbox side is about 89 degrees after all that. That is really cool. Even though it wasn't under load, really doesn't matter. Usually it'll still heat up because there's so much pressure in the gearbox. These winches are so freaking awesome, honestly. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Well, that's, that's not very warm for running it in and out like that. No, that's cool. And that's nothing, that's cold. Yeah. Okay, well, it shows something.